It is finally time to bid adieu to the Spanish whodunit series elite. From mocking the scholarship students to murdering their enemies, the students of Las Encinas could go to any length to serve their interests. Just like every season, once again there is a murder. And to solve the mystery, we need to go a little back in time to understand the mess that our victim got themselves into. Two new characters are launched in season 8, and they introduce the final year students to a creme de la creme club known as the alumni. Not everyone gets a chance to be a part of the exclusive club. Students are selected only after they prove themselves in the challenges designed by alumni. Expectedly, the backstabbing and manipulation soon began to become a club member. A spoiler warning ahead as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the show. Why did Louis murder Joel? The pizza delivery boy turned Lars Encina's student, Joel, is the murder victim in season 8. While in the previous season, Joel struggled to figure out if he wanted to be with Omar or Ivan, this time he could not decide between Ivan and Hector, the president of the alumni. His heart craved for Ivan, while his mind knew Hector could help build his future. Joel initially did not show any interest in Hector, but after Ivan's distant behavior, he decided to submit himself to the whims and wishes of the club president. Joel was introduced to other influential alumni who secretly indulged in sex parties. They were ready to pay any price for Joel, and soon he started to sleep with strangers from the club for money. Joel was not comfortable with Ivan paying his tuition fees, and he had also realized that without money, he had no chance of making it big in life. So after overcoming his initial hesitation, Joel started his journey as a sex worker. The crooked police officer Louis was desperate to find loopholes in Isadora's business. He always kept a close watch on Isadora House, and when he discovered that the alumni were using the rooms at the club to host sex parties, he used it to blackmail Isa. Isa was going through a lot emotionally. Her father was recently murdered, and her mother blamed her for it. She was trying her best to revive her business, and she felt a little relieved when Ivan came to her rescue. Everything was finally going great when all of a sudden Louis threatened to shut down the place. This was not the first time Louis had blackmailed Isa, and she had had no choice but to oblige his demands. But this time, she refused to go through the horror once again. She met Joel and asked him to handle the situation using his alumni contacts. Joel did not know that his actions could have such a terrible consequence on others, and he decided to confront Louis. He threatened to destroy Louis using his influential contacts, and the words stuck with him. Louis was afraid of losing his job and the power that came with it. He derived a sick pleasure by extorting Isadora, and he was not ready to accept defeat yet. Louis followed Joel to the alumni room. He initially thought of killing Joel in his sleep, but when Joel woke up all of a sudden, he used the knife on the side table to get his job done. Joel bled to death, and by the time Hector woke up, it was too late. Why did Chloe end up recording the murder? It was not just Louis who had a problem with Joel. Chloe and her mother, Carmen, also considered him a threat. In the previous season, Dalmar had recorded a video that could implicate Carmen for Rawls' murder, and he tried to use it to extract money from Carmen, but it did not work. Carmen devised wicked plans to force Dalmar to return to his home country. When Joel found out about it, he decided to help his best friend. While the racist cops might not have taken Dalmar seriously, Joel knew that if he submitted the evidence, it would not have gone unnoticed. So he decided to blackmail Carmen, threatening to expose her to the police if she failed to pay Dalmar. Carmen was not ready to pay up because she thought Dalmar would not delete the video even after she paid him, and he would continue to blackmail her whenever he needed money. Chloe was also worried, and she shared her concern with her boyfriend, Eric. Eric suggested they scare Joel with a knife. Chloe and Eric waited to attack Joel in the alumni room, but it did not go according to their plan. Joel overpowered Eric, and Dalmar entered the room to rescue his friend. Before leaving, Eric had promised to kill Joel. As it turned out, they were not the murderers, but they played an important role in solving the murder mystery. Chloe had turned on her phone camera and had placed it on a shelf in the hopes of recording something scandalous. After the murder, when Ivan and Isa got hold of Chloe's phone, they found a video that showed the face of the killer. This was the most crucial piece of evidence in the murder case. How did Omar plan to use the video? Instead of handing the video to the cops, Omar came up with a better plan. He was convinced that the cops would not arrest Louis and that the case would be closed. As much as Omar wanted Louis to suffer, he could not let Hector and Amelia walk away scot-free. They held extreme power, and he could not forget how he was physically abused by the alumni after he refused to entertain them at the club. Omar decided to use the video to force the siblings to sign a document, admitting that they were responsible for attacking Omar. The siblings were in prison, and the video would prove their innocence. 
Hector considered the proposition, but he was not ready to publicly acknowledge beating up Omar. So instead, he offered Omar the opportunity to burn down Las Encinas. After losing Samuel and Joel, all Omar wanted was to destroy Las Encinas. The school sheltered classists and fascists, and he believed it was time he did something about it. But his sister Nadia helped him realize that burning the school down could not be the solution, and Hector and Amelia would again go unpunished. Omar considered submitting the evidence to the police, but Louis had already found out about the video, and he was ready to kill Omar to save himself. Omar felt completely clueless, and suddenly he came up with a plan. He decided to use social media to his advantage. Omar addressed the public and discussed how the elite school had ruined countless lives, and even then the criminals always went unpunished. He requested the viewers to put a stop to it, and he uploaded the murder video in the hopes that it would lead to Louis's arrest. Was Louis punished in the end? The cops arrived at Isadora's house and were searching to arrest Louis. He was with Isadora at the time, and she had no idea about Omar's plan, so she decided to kill Louis by injecting him with poison. But Louis figured out her plan and drugged her. Thankfully, the cops entered the room at the right time and Isa survived. Just before Louis was taken away by the cops, Isa injected the drug concoction into his body. Louis died at Isadora's house. The poison affected him almost immediately and he collapsed on the dance floor. Isadora finally got her revenge and she was proud of herself. What happened to the students of Las Encinas? Omar's video exposed Las Encinas to the entire nation, and the principal, Virginia, decided to finally take action without thinking about the consequences. She was ready to hand over every critical file related to the school to Omar. Omar was on a mission, and we can assume that he and Nadia will together expose every Las Encinas scandal and open long buried cases. Meanwhile, Dalmar decided to hand over Rawls' murder video to Sarah because he believed it was the right thing to do. He had made peace with the fact that he might have to return to his home country. Sarah forwarded the video to Carmen, who decided it was time for her and Chloe to leave and settle in another country. It was not easy for Chloe to bid Eric goodbye, and they both hoped that one day they would cross paths again. Virginia announced that Las Encinas would be shut down forever, and the final year students would have to take their exams at a public school. Elite Season 8 comes to an end with the posh high schoolers entering a public school in their fancy cars and becoming a laughing stock. They were surprised by how old they looked compared to the public school students, who were still young and innocent. Well, that is what happens when your life in high school revolves around drugs and parties. Finally, a fitting end to Elite, with the privileged learning to become humble and realizing that the world did not revolve around them. Thank you for watching this video and do share your thoughts about the final season of Elite in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and CDs. See you in the next one and for the time being we're signing off. Bye.